I got something to talk to you guys about. So someone in the chat brought up, um, will the San Antonio Spurs be a playoff team with a top five pick? Now, I don't think it'll be that easy. Like, oh, you get a top five pick and now we're a playoff team. I mean, the West right now is really tough, okay? I think it's gonna at least, at the very least, take a couple seasons, okay? Now, sometimes I can get a little uh, too excited and I can say, hey, it's just gonna take us a year. We're gonna be back on top. We're gonna be amazing. But that's not necessarily the case. I'll be completely honest and transparent and saying, more than likely best case scenario a couple seasons before a playoff team maybe three or four before we can actually like compete compete in the playoffs okay because that's where experience comes in all those people is like oh you need experience no no you I, I think experience is really important once you have your team pretty established okay but when you have a lot of pieces that might not be here and you're going to trade away i just never thought it was that important which I think over the last couple seasons, I was absolutely right because Coffee Gang is completely gone. This entire team is not the same as it once uh, uh, looked. So anyways, I say all that to say this, okay? This right here is really promising. And I mean, really promising. So what we're looking at here, this is basically how hard, uh, in a way, the San Antonio Spurs play against good competition versus how they play against bad competition so in other words they play up to the level of whoever they're going against and they play really close to uh, uh bad competition so as we can see here it says and we'll look at it but nate uh, yeah, net ratings based on opponent net rating rank uh, above the trend line play better versus best teams below uh the trend line play better versus the worst teams and as you can see here we don't play better against the worst teams it looks like we play to our competition and then we're above the trend line so we play better versus the best teams so what that tells me is the san antonio spurs they aren't even playing to their potential right now and also if you add in a star you add in a couple really good players that a lot of these games it sounds like they would win um now when you guys say are they a playoff team i i think if I think in the West, you're going to have to be quite above 500. Well, you don't have to be that far above 500, maybe a few games above 500 to make it into the playoffs. I, I don't think we'll be on that level yet, but that this does show that the San Antonio Spurs are not playing fully to their potential. Or um, you could also argue that the tank is purposeful, which I think it is. Um, but moving on. So let's go ahead and see here. So and we can see here uh, he puts the Celtics. Mavericks and Spurs are the three teams that most play down to their lesser opponents or up to their toughest ones. That is stupid promising. And what's really promising about that as well, I mean, who would have thought we would be in the same even like sentence as the Mavericks and Celtics in any degree? Just makes no sense to me. Uh, but I just wanted to bring this to your attention because it does show that our Spurs are at the very least playing pretty doggone hard okay they they they're not taking any nights off i saw popovich say something in the realm of like this team really needs to play better defense and they they really need to get their act together he he basically he blamed it on himself too but I, i've been watching these games and it just seems as if it's not that the spurs aren't playing good defense or not playing hard i mean it's bad defense but they're not it, it it's not like they're incompetent or they're playing with lack of effort it seems like they're just not good enough like defensively they're just not good enough you have a few pieces here and there that can be something i think don barlow could potentially become a pretty decent defender sohan obviously the best defender zach collins he's a good defender but he's not somebody that's just gonna lock you down right like we, we're just limited like i've said this before i looked at our roster like a week ago and i was like there's no way there's absolutely no oh my god did i just miss something you said sohan had a nasty dunk Oh my god in the middle of this video i missed it hold on hopefully i'm behind hopefully i'm way behind i want to see this nasty dunk we won by the way okay so all right we're gonna have to look at that dunk later uh um where were we what was i talking about oh yeah uh yeah i got sidetracked anyways yeah i don't think it's necessarily that the team is just not playing hard enough i think it's just a matter of we're just not good enough uh we got the pieces here and there but just overwhelmingly i mean what are you going to do with it and then not having devin Fassell, and even if devin Fassell comes back this season i don't think it's going to improve our defense he 
he's he's coming off of an injury. I, I just don't think it's going to really make that much of a difference. Um, yeah, Collins is promising, but he's not a lockdown or nothing like that. So, uh, anyways, let me read this one and we'll we'll end this segment. I'm a Lakers fan. Yeah, I'm a Lakers fan, bro. But as a basketball fan in general, the Spurs is going to be good in the future. Right now, they just gotta play better defense. Yeah, yeah, but it. it we got to play better defense, but, uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to be the case. What's Devin's injury? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, it's not an injury. He has surgery, um, on his knee. So yeah, he, he's still, he's still like rehabbing from that. Uh, so he could technically, he could come back this season. I personally think that would be stupid. I don't really want him to come back this season. Um, but yeah, 